All right, time now to check back in with Candy for a look at your forecast and uh, how this storm has impacted us so far. That's right, Tammy. Well, it's been a very busy weather day here at KGT. And yes, we have to be uh, very careful with the flood, uh, flooding areas. So yes, we do have a flood watch in place until Friday at 4 a.m. And this is going to impact a lot of our foothills and mountain locations. So if you live in any of these areas right here, you could see uh, near the 155, just be mindful that this will continue to be a threat for you for the next few days. So now, uh, yes, uh, it's been busy today. This is what it looked like at around 4 p.m. coming in from West Bakersfield and the if we got uh, thunderstorm activity we got some heavy downpour you could see right here this was right outside uh, Kevin Charette's house and yes take a look that thunderstorm was very very powerful bringing a lot of rain in a very short amount of time and that's when the uh, flood threats uh, increases so now let's take you as we take a look at the uh, local satellite and radar you can see that it's dry here in downtown Bakersfield already but we can see a scatter shower is moving through the area now the heavy the heavy rain is pushing towards the Lake Isabella area right now botfish and Walden so uh, keep that in mind for everyone that lives in our mountain communities also near parts of Tehachapi you are going to see some heavy rain activity as we head into the next 20 minutes or so so around 4 35 p.m. we got a lot of rain here in downtown Bakersfield and then we had a beautiful double rainbow didn't last long, maybe 10 minutes, and then quickly vanish. As you can see, we call the tail end of it. But hey, we're still here. So now let's talk about rain totals. And so far in the last uh, 24 hours, Meadowsfield Airport picking up over half an inch of rain. This is very good news because we were forecasting three quarters of an inch by the end of tomorrow. So, so far, we're looking really good. KGT Studios right here, 0.80. So that's over three quarters of an inch of rain. Ba West Bakersfield, almost an inch of rain today. East Bakersfield over an inch in Delano, 0.33. Now let's uh, take it to the mountains. Fraser Park today picking up an inch and a half of rain. Pine Mountain Club over an inch and a half as well. Weldon, 0.73, so three quarters of an inch of rain. In Arvin, 0.15. I'm going to look for some latest totals because I'm sure Arvin picked up a lot more than that. So as you can see right now, we're taking that nice little break from the rain right outside our studios right now, but doesn't mean it's over. We're going to get more rain as we head into tonight and into tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds. So 56 degrees right now. Humidity is a 72% today. Warmer than average. Uh, 64 was our high today. The average is 61 and the record 76 at back in 1928. So where's the bulk of the rain? You could see that uh, we're not the only ones experiencing thunderstorms pretty much the entire Central Valley and as we you could see the bulk of the system is already well to the east of us southeast near it was near San Diego about an hour ago now it's moving towards Nevada but yes you can see those scatter showers that will linger through tomorrow and then we're going to be uh, ready for the next system that is we're going to roll in as we head into Saturday night going into Sunday and that one is going to be even stronger than the one today so just get ready don't put that rain gear away just yet because we are in the middle of an atmospheric river event that is uh, uh, well, so far is promising a lot of rain all the way through Wednesday and even Thursday of next week. So this is a long way. We've got a long way to go. 56 in Fresno tomorrow, 57 in Sacramento, 62 in Los Angeles. And again tonight, look for some scatter showers across Grand County. Thunderstorms are very possible as well. Tomorrow, a little bit cooler than today. Um, and you can see that it's going to be partly cloudy with 40% chance of scatter showers for the mountains. Also look for snow in the higher elevations, uh, starting at about 6,000 feet. And then you're looking at 47 degrees in Welfare Heights. Also 30% of scatter showers and snow showers with partly cloudy skies. And out in the desert, look for 57 in Ridgecrest, also with some uh, thunderstorm activity. So here's a look at the extended forecast. Rain, rain and more rain all the way through next week. Now, the second system that really the second big batch is going to come in on Saturday night to going into Sunday, linger through Monday and Tuesday. And it looks like we're going to start to, to taper off some of that rain as we head into Wednesday and Thursday of next week. They have to be also look for some snow showers, uh, snow levels starting at about 5,000 feet and then dropping to 4,500 feet on Sunday. We're going to be watching that very closely and let you know if our mountain passes could be impacted. So finally, the Lake Isabella area also looks Look for scattered showers tomorrow, uh, wet and soggy all the way through the weekend. A little bit of a break on Saturday, more rain Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday.